This was the last time Lars Mittank was seen before his disappearance. Security cameras at the Varna airport in Bulgaria show him walking around the place normally, only seconds before entering a medical office and running away terrified, never to return. Ich natürlich mir die Bilder angucke, denn ja, und in seine Augen schaue. Sagen die mir, ich komme. Und die halt durch. Four days earlier, the 28-year-old German young man had a discussion about football with other tourists outside a McDonald's in Bulgaria's Golden Sands Resort, where he was vacationing with his friends. The confrontation left the young man with a perforated eardrum, and the local doctor, Boris Neidenau, advised him not to take the flight back to Germany. Because of the complications the pressure could cause, he prescribed him the antibiotic Cefuroxime, and Lars insisted to his friends that they travel back to his country without him, trusting that he'd be safe on his own, and that he would take another plane home as soon as he got better. Once alone at the spa, Lars rented a room at the Color Hotel to finish his medical treatment there. That's when things started to get ugly. The young German wrote a message to his mother, confessing that he didn't feel safe and asking her to block his credit card, telling her that someone was following him. Hours later, cameras at the Collar Hotel caught Lars acting erratically, and Sandra Mittank received a new message from her son. What is if you 500? The next morning, they spoke for the last time, as Lars made his way to the airport to catch his plane back to Germany. Sandra had managed to convince him to visit the airport doctor before flying, and the record that later circled the world shows him doing just that. Lars Mittank walked into Dr. Kosta Kostov's office at Varna Airport, and 46 minutes later, he stormed out in a panic, as if running away from an invisible ghost. The security cameras followed his trail until the young man jumped over a dividing fence and disappeared forever. Afterward, Dr. Kostov recalled that Lars seemed nervous and suspicious of the medication he was taking, a checkup showed that his hearing was already in perfect condition for flying. But while they were talking, a staff member entered the office and according to the doctor, Lars mumbled that he didn't want to die in there. After that, he began his enigmatic escape that six years later remains unsolved. <laughs>